this is goodness gracious. This is really just a sound test to see if this little speaker works. This is an old iPod speaker that runs on like AAA batteries. And this little guy right here is a Moore PE100. It's like a little pocket affection, but it uses modeling, so it kind of sounds cool. But hey, let's see what it sounds like. Through the iPhone speaker, not through my iRig plug direct. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try some more patches to see what this sounds like. Just because I gotta get this COVID hair to dry. I'm not used to having to use conditioner and combs in <laughs> I'm fixing to go in, these crazy mosquitoes, <laughs> they're getting to be everywhere. And I just had one flop my nose. Ugh. I think this is like a print sound. It's a little crunchy. Tim Pierce has been talking about finding a sound and just riding with it. And he says, I use about, you know, his one sound. He said, it works for him and it makes sense cause I'm watching that channel, Tim. I know you'll never see this, but my goodness. My guitar playing is getting so much better now because of watching you play. And I've been lucky enough to have a guy that I've played with for years in Nashville who plays like Tim Pierce beside me, so I got to watch his hands do all these wonderful motions just from the corner of my eye playing. That's the sound of not. Keep trying different stuff. I don't think that's it. I just had this uh, family stop and uh, roll their window down for their little girl just to kind of listen to me play. It's not very loud, but you know, guitar is kind of flashy, I guess. But they just sit there at the stop sign and just kind of let her listen to me screw from it. It's not that I'm good, I'm not. But that's still nobody's seeing or hearing, guess anything outside of YouTube. So I guess it's kind of cool to go, hey, some, something to listen to. And it's super quiet. It's really not that loud. Here's a weird story. <laughs> uh, after college, I was on the road with a band, the Skater Kids, which would not be any kind of Green Day, I guess. <laughs> This is kind of a neat idea. If I did one of these every time he, I'm here, plug this exact same thing and hit play, walk through the sounds, and see what inspires me. That might be kind of neat. And then upload this, and then I'll go back and listen to that in a month after I do the next one, and hear the difference. That way I can kind of compare the two. All right, maybe that'll be something different. Hit holla! Uh, I don't know. This cracked me up because I haven't played this since college. I have never played that on guitar. I just know what that chord is now from doing all these things. And I knew since I heard the sound. I'm, oh, that's a fun ass James Addiction song. Oh, it makes me kind of want to go. I gotta get better on this fingerboard. When things inspire me, it's raining, so I'm just going. Ahead. I think that might have been something close. That's funny. 
I'm really trying to work on simple melodies. I'm really trying to think about that, how that works, and using sustain and things that I can play to create melodies. And I, I hope it's gonna work. I don't know, I'm still kind of working on that idea. Space is funky, and space is my friend. That <laughs> sounds pretty good to me. See ya. Bye.